All right, so today we wanted to talk about a few things that people have been talking about online. These are uh, little shooters you can basically make at home with toilet paper tubes and bottle caps and balloons, surgical rubber glove, you got a little dish glove here that shoots, condoms. We wanted to kind of talk about those items because these are uh, basically where the pocket shot was born from. Uh, we played with all these types of things and we wanted to make something that was awesome, something that was powerful, something that people would, you know, basically at. So, one one device we've made here is just this toilet paper tube here with the balloon attached to it. And, duct tape. Yeah, with some duct tape on it. And we're going to uh, put put all these through the chronograph and see what kind of speeds we can get. The thing we did not like about all these when we were playing with them is they would tear so easily. You get you know anywhere from one to 20 shots and it's done uh, and it's just not powerful so let's run these through the chronograph and see what kind of speeds we can get with them chronograph. shooting quarter inch steel ammo wow that yeah. is impressive 182 point per second <laughs> yeah, <you're neat. laughs> there we go all right, so we got 166.8. 166.8. So here I have, this is a plastic bottle top with a surgical rubber glove. Uh, I believe this was mentioned in there. I don't think we're going to get much out of this, but we'll try it out. And I saw this one a lot in the comments. Latex seems to be thinnest on this one. Uh, it didn't even come out. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. How did you attach that one? Because you didn't use tape, Pat. How did you... I attached it with actually the um, the top of a balloon where the where the mouth is. Okay. I cut that off and we use it as kind of a rubber band to attach it. Okay, so you attached it basically with a rubber band. Let's see, I tried shooting this once and it didn't even come out, so let's try it again here. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, 98.6 98. feet per second. I already have a tear in it. You already got a tear. All right, so that one's... Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. But... All, right. All right, so that one's... Try to get one more out of it. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll shoot one more. Well, that was zero feet per second. Oh, let's... The... All right, next we have the dish glove with the plastic bottle top. Beautiful. Put that on there. This one's a little thicker, so... I think we're having better better success with this as far as ripping and tearing and all that. But let's uh, try the speed out and see what it's like. Again, we're using steel quarter inch ammo. 153. 153 feet per second. That's quite good. And that's with the, uh, the dish thumb. This is the thumb of the dish glove. 143 feet per second, so. We'll call this about 150 feet per second on the, the dish glove here. All right, next we have just your standard balloon that we attach to the plastic ring. This this was our uh, basically our, our prototype. This is what we kind of modeled the product after. Um, but the issue we had with the balloons, and now that I'm holding this, I'm remembering when you pinch it. I don't know if anyone at home has noticed this, but if you pinch it, after a few shots, it starts really sticking together and it's annoying, but... Well, and it tears after about 10 shots, which is Yeah, it's, it's gonna tear on you too. It's thin rubber, but we wanna get a speed rating with this one too and see what we got. Again, there's the quarter inch steel shot here. Wow, that is impressive. 193.9. 193 193.9, yeah. That was my thought on all of the pocket shot prototypes. That one was going to be the most powerful. 167, 167 out of that. Okay, so you're probably looking at 180 with that, 175, 180 in yeah, average. Upper 100s, pretty good. Pretty good. So the next product we have here is the plastic ring with a condom. A this ribbed condom. Yes, this is ribbed. This is for her pleasure. So let's let's try it out. We'll try and get a speed test on it and see what it does. Again, this is the quarter inch steel that we're shooting. 
and it pulled right through. I really wasn't even pulling back that hard, but well, it's tough to see, but it pulled right through. It didn't even work, so I don't understand why people always mention the condoms because every test we always did with them, we couldn't even get but maybe one shot out before it ripped. So I, I don't really understand that one, but if you could actually fire something, I guess it would be fun, maybe. I guess the moral of the story is, don't use a condom. So as you can see, this one here with the Gatorade and the balloon probably works the best. Uh, it's got the most power, but uh, you probably won't get more than 10 shots off before you have to replace the, the balloon. Um, pocket shot versus Joey gun, glove gun, condom shooter. Uh, and bean thicker. shooter. Bean shooter, that was another one that was on the videos, comments, but uh, much thicker, a lot more powerful. Of course, it's going to give you more feet per second. So I'll just shoot the uh, chronograph of the pocket shot, show you. We got other videos on it, and uh, you can watch George Spray's video on it as well. But uh, this is a standard pouch. Usually, you're probably going to get uh, 275 to 300 feet per second with a black pouch. So, quarter inch ammo again. I'm going to zoom in on that pack. 277.5. Do one more. And that's probably what the average person is going to get out of the, uh, the standard pouch. Uh, 296.9 so again uh, somewhere between 275 and 300 with this is what you would expect I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you uh, get bored feel free to experiment with some of these ideas and uh, post a video or a link for us so we can um, we can watch what you guys come up with pocket shot